Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your girl Ashi Amani, back with another video and excuse the hoarseness, came out of a beautiful week, a wonderful week, a unforgettable week, youth week, I don't know, there's always something special about youth week, outstanding, um, today, hi, it's been like 7 days since the last video, um if you have not subscribed as it don't forget to subscribe and like this video go check out my previous video and the one before that and the one before that yes um also click the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time i make a new post like as this video drop you know it will come up in on your phone letting you know that i share my uploaded a new video so make sure you click the bell button so you'd be notified every time I make a new post. So in today's video, I want to speak on Matthew 6. Like, I don't know, it came to my mind today, this morning as I woke up. It was the first thing on my mind. No, actually since yesterday, I've been thinking about it. <clears throat> Matthew 6 verses 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Right? God was speaking about the things that he knows that we have need of. You know, but this is a command that if we seek first his kingdom, his work is doing all that he requires of us to do, you know, he will take care of our needs. So basically, if we are doing God's work, God will do ours. So keep that in mind. God always uses um, the natural things to re relate with the spiritual. And so if we take care of God's business, you know, seeking him, um, doing the work of the ministry, um, doing all that the Bible requires of us to do, God will take care of our needs. So, you know, you don't have to worry about this life or how the house is gonna come how the car is gonna come a majority of the persons out here i mean you do have people who work tirelessly to get what they want but a lot of times you have people who just merely live by faith you know they just live in the moment um i know people who live in the moment and where they're like oh this person you know they don't save like i know literally a, a testimony um they don't save they they seem to be terrible at saving you know they just live in the moment um if they see something that they want they're they're going to get in they don't care they're, you're like oh my god this person is um this person is careless like this person should be thinking about their own house, getting a car. And let me tell you, <laughs> that person is a home owner today. Yes. And they can afford to get multiple cars if they choose. And it was not of their own savings why they obtained that. They just they were just not concerned about it and it puzzled me but i'm saying that you know if we begin to live according to the scriptures we'd be surprised as to how much god can provide and will provide for us you see many times we claim that we're living by faith but we're worried about the school fee tomorrow and the same scripture here tells us if you should read the whole of matthew 6 it is speaking about our 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 own mannerism you know how we go about our daily lives not worrying about tomorrow how god is able to provide you know and we are more valuable knowing that our father is really the owner of everything that we see and he's able to supply our needs uh many a times unbelievers have more faith than us you know it is a term that they call law of attraction and so they see something and they believe with faith that they're going to obtain it much more us who are chosen of god you know who are called by god you know we should really believe that god is able to supply our needs and you know don't store up treasures where much 
and rust and teeth breaking and steel you know i feel like what the scripture is really saying is that really begin to focus on god you know make sure that your duty is seeking his kingdom make sure that you spend time in prayer don't be distracted when you get the job or when you get the promotion or when you know you start the business you know make sure that nothing is still in god's time and you will see how much god continues to take care of you and sustain you and preserve you and that job and promote you and enhance that whatsoever you're doing that business will grow if you are not distracted when God start to you know bless you if you maintain your relationship with God in spite of the job like yes you come home late but still as before as before you got the job spend that quality time with God you know remember that God is the reason why you've got the job it is like giving in tithing in in blessing the kingdom you know if you remember who gave you the job you will not find it difficult to pay your tithes. You will not find it difficult to give back because you remember that it is not of your own strength or your skill or your looks or intellect why you are here. But if you remember that it is because of God why you are blessed. In every season and you give back to God, and you spend the time with him in prayer, fasting, reading the word, communing with God. You will never lose. You see, we lose when everything begins to take God's place. God not like that and he will not allow it. And so many a times you lose the job. You lose um, the battle. The business fails because you start to tell jesus good night god don't want that that's not enough you know seek ye first the kingdom of god don't be distracted don't allow things to take up too much of your time that god becomes the least he wants to be first place and as chosen people he, 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 he you know you see you we ought to realize that as chosen people our lives don't go as the regular and so other people will be so focused on everything else and still a work out while you have to put God first because you were created you were chosen by him and for him you know they can't live as you please because you are chosen you know and so God needs your time he loves the relationship that he has with you. You know, some more sweet him. It's like a man and a woman, you know, in order for two to stay together, something more sweet them. Something, you know, I let go of this, you know, this relationship sweet when you might get your time. And that is why you will not allow anything else to occupy you. You will do anything that it takes to get your attention. Just like Israel. You know, whenever time Israel was disobedient, when Israel to feel like them are going to worship other God, God mash up some things, you know, bring them back into the captivity, into somebody else's, and so they could seek his face again because God loved the relationship. God loved when things up, sweet savor going up in his nostril. You know, it is such a serious thing, and so I have come to the realization that hey you know if i don't see god first nothing else not gonna work everything else i'm gonna feel you know everything else when me try i'm gonna feel so here is what i am going to do i am going to put time aside for my god i'm going to make sure that i put him first and everything else should be around him so if i am choosing a job it is around god's timing nothing to take his timing if i am choosing anything that i am doing must be around god god's timing what we do 
is we put the job over God and then we give God the wireless. It is not acceptable to us anyone. And so as I am closing this video, remember to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So don't worry about tomorrow, don't worry about clothes, shoes, the job. Just seek God first and everything else will come to you. God bless.